Hello everybody, it's Stefan Joubert here from the Stefan Joubert Guitar Academy. Again, I'm coming to you from Switzerland and I'm speaking to you today about an interesting concept on the guitar called diagonal lines. So basically, these lines that I'm going to show you, I do find them fascinating. Um, what I'm going to show you is just a, a way of playing across the guitar from the lowest fret to the highest fret in a diagonal fashion. And then we're going to do one in the opposite direction. And it's a very, very interesting concept and it works so well on the instrument and it's something fascinating that you can do. So let's take a look at this. The first thing we're going to do is just play an A dominant 7th flat 5 chord. An A dominant 7th flat 5 chord consists out of an A root note, a G, a flattened 7th, C sharp, your major 3rd, and the E flat, which is the flattened 5th. It's a beautiful chord often used in jazz as a tritone substitution. So you might have a B flat minor 11th going to an A7 flat 5, going to an A flat major 6 9 chord. Now that A7 flat 5 chord, if you, this is the A note, if you go two notes below, so one, two, so two semitones below, you have a G. From that point, if I do the following, I play three, five, then I go up a half a step to four, six, five, seven, six, eight. I'll do that again. So three, five, next string, four, six, five, seven, six, eight. See, that's just running up diagonally in twos. And here, when I get to the uh, second string, I need to jump. The second string is tuned in major thirds, therefore I need to adjust one further. I can't just go to the seventh fret, it's not correct. I need to adjust one further. And then I'm back in line. And that is an A dominant seventh flat five arpeggio actually. So that's going to give you a flattened seventh, a root, a major third, a flat five. And it repeats again, flat 7th root, major 3rd, flat 5, flat 7th root, major 3rd, flat 5. And what I love about this pattern is it's just so, you know, if you've got an A7 flat 5 on the score, you just do like... It's just such a great, you know... It's just such a fun line to play. It feels so easy. It's got such a nice little movement as well. And something else that is fascinating anyway, about the, made, the dominant 7th flat 5, besides the fact that you've got this lovely diagonal line, is the fact that six semitones from the root, so one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got E flat, and you know, if I play an E flat 7 flat 5, I have exactly the same notes. I'll show it to you. I've got an E flat here, E flat over here. Here I've got an A. Here I've got an A. Here I've got a G. Here I've got a G. C sharp. C sharp. E flat. Second string. E flat. So the same shape duplicates duplicates across the neck every six semitones. So when I play the diagonal line over here of A dominant 7th flat 5, I'm also playing an E flat dominant 7th flat 5 line. Now the theory is something for another day. It's more just to show you this interesting diagonal line. Now this particular lesson may be more suitable to someone who's learning to play jazz guitar. Now this is just something I wanted to show you. It just works like amazing, like a charm, you know, because it's just so easy to play. And all you do is three, five, and you go up one, four, six, go up one, five, seven, six, eight, eight, ten, nine, eleven. And it's just so easy to play. I mean, you can even hammer on. And it's just easy to deal with it and to, to play it on the instrument. It just sounds amazing. 
and it's really easy to resolve as well. It just works amazingly well. I mean, that same arpeggio, if you had to play it in one position, it's a bit more difficult to do. You've got some, in a sense, awkward little shapes to deal with. I mean, not undoable, not uh, impossible to deal with, but not easy to always kind of... Where if you do that diagonal shape, it just goes straight across and it's great and fun to play. So download that below. Now I'm going to give you another fascinating one. I'm going to play a B7 sharp 5 chord. So I've got a B, then I've got an A, which is the flat 7th, D sharp, which is the ma uh, major 3rd, and then F double sharp, which is the sharp 5. F double sharp is the same as G. From a technical point of view, it should be an F double sharp to be a sharp 5, because F sharp is the 5th of B. So if I want to sharpen the 5th, I need to make an F double sharp. But it's the same as a G, but it's also called an F double sharp. Now yeah, my diagonal line is exactly the same concept, but instead of going up, I'm going down. And guess what? I'm ending up playing a... Um, I'm ending up playing a whole tone scale. Because we're moving backwards, we're breaking through the cycle of fourths into turning the guitar into almost like a major third operation. And that's what gives me that... whole tone scale, which basically gives me a root, a ninth, major third, uh, a flat five, sharp five, flat seventh, root, ninth, major third, uh, or flat five or sharp four, sharp five, flat seventh, going back to the root. And let's say I'm going from a B7 sharp five to an E major seventh. It's really beautiful, one can easily resolve it. So quite fascinating these two, right? So you've got this line here, which is the whole tone scale. Again, in the description below, PDF file, you can just download it, all the materials on there, and then you can print it out and, and study it with, with me. Or the A dominant seventh uh, flat five arpeggio. Also called the E flat seven flat five arpeggio. So two, arpe two, the one is a scale, the other one's an arpeggio, but I see it the same. Melodic devices is what I would call them. Melodic devices. So thank you for watching. Just download it, try it out, have a great time, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Goodbye.